Static site generators are potent tools in the technical writing toolbox. The trouble is, there are so many options to choose from that it can be overwhelming. If you're having difficulty picking a static site generator, you're in the right place. In today's video, we will compare and contrast two popular static site generators, Hugo and Gatsby. We'll cover the main features of each tool, its respective pros and cons, and give you examples of use cases where each one is the best tool to use. Before we examine the differences between the two, let's list their similarities. Both are static site generators that allow you to build lightweight and fast static websites. Both are open source. They support the docs as code workflow and sites created using these tools are very secure simply because there's no back end to hack. They allow you to deploy quickly using automated pipelines and as a cherry on top, there are many free hosting options available on the web. Now, onto what makes each tool unique. But first, we must develop criteria to compare them. We'll look at the programming language or framework that the tool uses, the learning curve, how easy it is to get started using either one, the community and ecosystem around the static site generator. Speed. And finally, we'll list popular websites that use either Hugo or Gatsby. On to the programming language or framework. Firstly, Hugo uses the Go programming language. Go is a fast, modern programming language supported by Google. It has a robust and growing community. Gatsby, on the other hand, is a React application. Users of Gatsby benefit from the ubiquity of JavaScript in general and the popularity of React in particular. It's generally a good idea to go with a static site generator whose base language your team already knows, all else being equal. Learning Curve While Hugo and Gatsby will require some knowledge of either the programming language or the templating library, or both, Gatsby is a little more demanding in this respect. Hugo also has more comprehensive documentation to help you get started. Community and Ecosystem Gatsby benefits from all the advantages of React and the wider JavaScript community. Gatsby is built with plugins in mind. You benefit from the thousands of React libraries out there. And Gatsby is open source. But in addition to that, it's also backed by a team of paid professional developers working on it full time, ensuring that there's long term support which is really good when you're considering investing in a technology for the long term. Gatsby also uses GraphQL to fetch data from anywhere. GraphQL is a way to make API calls in a simpler, more efficient way. You can get data from markdown files, content management systems, for example, WordPress, and even CSV files. On the flip side, Hugo is also open source and has a vibrant community backing it with many Hugo templates available. However, the Hugo community is smaller than Gatsby. And so is the pool of available Go developers on the market if you're thinking of hiring people for this specific project. 
So if that's important for you, then Gatsby beats out Hugo. Speed. Here we're not referring to the speed of the website. That is more or less the same because the static site generator is out of the picture once the static files have been generated and are now being hosted on a server. What we are talking about is the speed of generating those files, of compiling your static website. Now, speed is where you go shines. The underlying Go programming language allows it to generate whole static sites in milliseconds. After all, Go is used to build operating systems, so it's not really surprising. Gatsby is left in the dust when it comes to speed. Its build times are in the single or double digit seconds, depending on how big the site is. So if build time is crucial for you, then there's no debate that Yugo is the static site generator for you. Finally, let's take a look at some famous use cases. Gatsby is used by the PayPal developer documentation, the Node.js foundation website, and the TypeScript language documentation website. On the other hand, Hugo is used by the prolific tech YouTuber, Fireship, the Kubernetes website, and the Redis documentation. In conclusion, so which tool is the best? It depends on your unique circumstances. If your team has people who are familiar with JavaScript and you want to benefit from a huge community and rich ecosystem, then Gatsby is for you. If you want a lightning fast static site generator with an easier learning curve, go ahead with Hugo. Regardless of which tool you use, both of these will certainly make your task of writing technical documentation much easier. So which tool is better in your opinion? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. We can help you with your docs. We at Document Write specialize in writing and auditing technical documentation. So if you need help with writing your docs, book a free consultation today. You can click on the link in the description box below, or alternatively, you can reach us through our website, www dot document right dot dev thank you very much for watching please like share subscribe and i'll see you next time